Hello, my name is Mr. Asprey, and I've got another tricky question here for you today. Uh, it says that the curve has this equation. Um, we've got a point on the curve, and then it wants us to find the tangent so that we can then work out the area of the triangle OAB. Right, no problem. Pause the video, have a go yourself, and then listen for the solution. Um, okay, so here we go. What I'm going to do is, first off, differentiate this so that we can work out the tangent. Now, in order to differentiate it, um, the first term is a product. So I'm going to write u is equal to x, and I'm going to write v is equal to e to the 5 minus 2y, and use the product rule. We then differentiate with respect to x, which gives us 1, and I differentiate over here with respect to x. Now, this is a function of y. So when we differentiate with respect to x, we differentiate with respect to y, but then we must times by dy by dx. So differentiating with respect to y gives us minus 2 e to the 5 minus 2y, and then we must multiply through by dy by dx. Okay, so the product rule tells us to times these two, and then add it on to these two times together. So this is going to give us, when I multiply uh, x by minus 2e to the 5 minus 2y, we get minus 2xe to the 5 minus 2y, dy by dx. And then the other one, which we're going to add on, is just going to be e to the 5 minus 2y. Okay, <clears throat> now the next term is y, and that differentiates with respect to x to dy by dx. And 0 differentiates to 0. Now, we've got two dy by dx's here, so what I'm going to want to do is take the two terms that have dy by dx in and factorize out the dy by dx. So we get minus 2xe to the 5 minus 2y uh, for the first term, and then for the next term, it's just minus 1. Okay, great. Now, this other term here, we're going to move to the other side, become minus e to the 5 minus 2y. And then what we can do is we can divide through, and this will give us dy by dx uh, as the subject. Now, you don't necessarily have to make dy by dx the subject. You could have subbed in straight away, um, but I've just done it, so there you go. Every term here is negative, so we can just times through by negative just to make our lives perhaps slightly easier uh, to get it looking like this. Okay, so that's dy by dx, and what I want to do is I need to find dy by dx at the particular point when we have the x-coordinate equal to this and the y-coordinate equal to that. Okay, so we just need to substitute in. Um, so, what is this going to give us? Well, 5 minus 2y when y is 2 is 5 minus 4, which is just 1, so it's just e to the 1, so just e. Um, we've got two lots of x, so two lots of this is going to be 4 e to the minus 1, and then times by e to the 5 minus 2y, which is again just e. And then we've got plus uh, 1 here. Okay, so e on top, and we've got e to the minus 1 times e is just 1, so it's just 4 plus 1 on the bottom, so it's just e to the 5. Perfect. Okay, now we can use this gradient at the particular point to work out the tangent at that point. So we're going to write y minus y1 is equal to mx minus x1, as that is the standard equation for a straight line. And we're going to sub in the gradient and we're going to sub in the actual point itself. And that will give us the equation of the tangent at that point. So we get y minus, and the y uh, coordinate is 2, and then that is e over 5, um, x minus, the x coordinate is 2e to the minus 1. Okay, now I could rearrange this into the form y equals mx plus c, but um, I don't need to, uh, and I can just substitute straight in to work out my coordinates for a and b. 
So let's start with um, A first. Now A is the point where it cuts the x-axis. So the point A is going to be when y is equal to 0. So subbing in y equals 0 into the equation of the tangent gives us minus 2 is equal to e over 5 x minus 2 e to the minus 1. We can then um, multiply by 5 and divide by e. And that will just leave me with x minus 2 e uh, to the minus 1 on that side. Um, and in fact, we could write this as minus 10 e to the minus 1. Add 2 e to the minus 1 gives me minus 8 e to the minus 1. And there we go, that is the x coordinate. Okay, so that is the coordinate at a. Right now we'll go on and we'll find the coordinate b. So at b, we know that it cuts the y-axis, which means that x equals 0. So substituting into the tangent again, um, x is equal to 0. That's going to give us y minus 2 is equal to e over 5. x is 0, so we're just left with minus 2 e to the minus 1 in that bracket. Um, and then multiplying through, the e will cancel with the e to the minus 1 to make 1. And we'll just have minus 2 over 5. Okay, so add 2 to that, and that will be uh, 8 over 5. So that is the y coordinate there at b. Okay, perfect. So all we need to do now is just work out the area of the triangle. Um, so in doing so, we will get. Um, an x coordinate of minus 8 e to the minus 1 and a y coordinate of 8 over 5. So the triangle will look like this and the area of course will just be the base, oh, sorry, half of the base which will be, um, or the distance from there to there will be positive e, um, 8 e to the minus 1 times by 8 over 5. So 64 half is 32 over 5 is 32 over 5 and e to the minus 1 is just an e on the bottom and that is the exact area. Hope you enjoyed that. Check out my live revision session if you're doing NXL A-level maths and you want prep for paper 1. I'm doing a live revision session on the 25th of May. Check it out, link in the description and I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.